the ant and the grasshopper by Aesop. One summer day, a lazy grasshopper was chirping and sitting and playing games. Just as he did every day, a hard-working ant passed by carrying a huge leaf that he was taking back to the ant's nest. The grasshopper said to the ant, all you ants do is work all day. You should be more like me and play, play and play. The ant replied, I'm storing food for the winter season. You should be working for the same reason. What will you eat when the weather gets cold? How will you feed your hungry household? The grasshopper laughed. All you ants do is work and worry. Slow down, don't be in such a hurry. Just look around, there's a plenty of food. Don't give me advice, that's just plain rude. The ant kept working. The grasshopper played all the summer. And soon winter came. The ant had prepared for the winter and had enough food stored in the nest to last through the cold, harsh winter weather. Now that winter had arrived, the grasshopper couldn't find any food and soon became very hungry. He soon remembered the hard-working ant he had made fun of the summer. The grasshopper went to the ant's nest and asked for food. The ant, who was still working hard at his house, the, uh, was uh, sorting out his food to make clean and dry. He said, I toil to have food for the winter freeze while you spend the summer playing in ease. I store just enough food for the winter, it is true, but I can't feed you all winter or I'll starve too. The ant ha gave the grasshopper a few crumbs, but the grasshopper was cold, miserable and hungry all winter. The next summer, do you know what he did? The grasshopper worked hard to store food for the upcoming winter. That next winter, the grasshopper was well fed and happy. He had learned to think ahead and plan for the future. Hello, my lovely children. Did you like the story? Thank you very much for listening. But before talking about the story, I would like to ask about you. How are you feeling? Are you feeling well and are in your best health? It is so sorry that we are all in such a situation, but bad days, life is always short. Uh, I'm sure we will do it well. And when it finishes, we'll all enjoy our school. Now, tell me please, did you like this story? Can you guess what type of text is the ant and the grasshopper? Who were acting in the story? What did you get from the story? Do you think the grasshopper learned a good lesson at the end? Let's review the features of the traditional literature. These are all imaginary stories passed for many years. Cinderella, the frog prince, the mermaid are examples of fairy tales. In these stories, there is often a magic. Another type of traditional literature where you can see Jack and the Beanstalk, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Red Riding Hood, where the evil characters always lose are called folk tales. If you see animals talking, and acting like human, including one important event, they are fables. Aesop fables were most popular ones. 
he wrote the ant and the grasshopper, the crow and the pitcher, the tortoise and the hare. He always used animals as his main characters. Each of these animals had a specific personality. Animals were acting uh, and they were main characters in the stories. They were representing human qualities. There were only two or three animals acting in the stories. And the most important, there was a moral, which was a good lesson for the human. Let's see back. What do we find in a fable? Only two or three characters. Character with a weakness. Setting is set outside. Animals lie, act like people. And the most important, there was a moral. Now I would like to invite you to open your literacy books on page 72 and start reading the Chatterbox Turtle. When you are reading, please go into the details as who are the characters? What is the setting of the story? What was the main event? And the most important, what is the moral of this fable? You'll find comprehension questions in the next page that will help you to understand the story better. You can also discuss with your friend how you think the kids felt uh, when Turtle dropped to the ground. How would you feel if you had to stop talking for a day? And the most important, what is the moral of the story Chatterbox Turtle? Please write one or more than one uh, morals uh, and send us for checking. I hope you enjoyed learning about fables. If you want to watch and learn more fables, enter this link. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.